What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Marvel Legends video. This time we're talking about Every Iron Man Marvel Legends. And this is an updated video because we have some new news. So, back in Toy Biz days, we had Series 1 Marvel Legends, gave us three versions of Iron Man. Here's the first, the second, and the third. And this was a Walmart exclusive right here, the stealth version. Then we had the series number seven, which was the Silver Centurion Iron Man. Came with that big rocket pack. And then we had the series eight, which was the modern armor Iron Man. Back then, these three waves did not come with build -a figures. This was just bases and whatnot. And then they came out with the Legendary Riders wave which gave us the Hulk Buster, and this one came with a glider that he could stand on. And then first we got the first time Iron Man shows up in the Builder figure waves was in the Mojo Builder figure wave. It came with the first appearance Iron Man, and we had the silver version and the gold version. And then Iron Man shows up again in the Modoc Builder figure wave with the Thor Buster armor. Then we had some face-off two-pack waves. <clears throat> and this one came with the Iron Man. And I like to call this one the cartoon version of Iron Man. I'm not really sure uh, what the name of it is, of this particular suit, what mar mark it is or anything like that. And then you got the box set, House of M, with the House of M Iron Man this huge rocket pack and, and blaster. Annihilus built a figure wave. This was uh, when Hasbro took over. You got the ultimate Iron Man. Ares built a figure wave, <clears throat> which was a Walmart exclusive, came with the Heroes Reborn Iron Man. More two packs came out and we got Shield Leaders, two packs. This one was Maria Hill and Iron Man. And then you had Sharon Carter and the stealth version of Iron Man. And then when Hasbro came back after their hiatus, and they had the return of Marvel Legends when they came back with different uh, molds, I guess, you had the Extremist Armor Iron Man. And then they also had a variant stealth version of that Iron Man suit, blue. This particular Epic Heroes wave was kind of a disappointment because there was no build a figure piece. Unless technically you want to build a stand, because that's what it came with was a stand. So here's this Iron Man. Very disappointing feet. And uh, they read that later on, and we'll show you that in the vintage. And then we had an Iron Man wave. This is the only Iron Man wave we've ever had. And this was with a build a figure for um, Iron Monger. So here's the classic Iron Man. Had two separate heads you could put on. Here's the Heroic Age Iron Man. Mark 42 Iron Man from the movie. So then you had the Guardians of the Galaxy. And it came with the Galactic, or whatever you want to call this particular armor, where he was actually part of the Guardians of the Galaxy in the comics. Then you had the regular comic version of Thanos build a figure. And this is part of the Avengers Age of Ultron movie. This was the Mark 43 Iron Man suit. Came with the open face mask where you can see Tony's head. And then we got the MCU Hulkbuster build a figure. Came with the Marvel Now Iron Man. This is when he kind of, uh, his mind was converted to being evil. And of course you had the Hulkbuster build a figure itself. Then you had the Thanos MCU build a figure. And 
this was the Avengers Infinity War Wave. I'm not 100% sure what mark this was, but they re-released this later on with all of the attachments. So this one was kind of disappointing because there was no Build-A-Figure piece or anything. And it didn't have any of the attachments they needed. We have the Giant Man MCU Build-A-Figure Wave. Came with a Mark 46 Iron Man from Captain America Civil War. Had a <clears throat> Disney Store exclusive five pack. Kind of a repainted version of the Iron Man with a Tony Stark head this time. And then they re released the MCU Giant Man build a figure overseas. They repackaged that Iron Man in there. And then we got the Okaye build a figure. They gave us the Invincible Iron Man with that Tony Stark head. <clears throat> then there's a Civil War 3-pack with them all beat up. And then kind of a re-release of some more figures in a 4-pack for Civil War. This was a Disney Store exclusive. And then a repackaging of the Hulkbuster build a figure for overseas. Gave us the Hulkbuster again and another Iron Man again. So here is a Homecoming 2 pack with Spider Man and Iron Man. It's pretty cool because it came with this open masked Iron Man with nobody in there. I like that one. And then we have a 2 pack with War Machine. And we like to call this the Disco Armor or the Mark 27 Iron Man Armor. And here's that vintage wave I was talking about that gives us that re-released armor from the <clears throat> Epic Heroes wave that didn't have any build a figure pieces. So they redid the feet on this so he actually looks a lot better. So then we had the first 10 years line last year, 2018. Had several Iron Mans in there. This was Tony Stark and the Mark One MCU armor. Then you have the Iron Man 3 Hot Rod armor. And we have the Mark 7 armor. Those cool flaps on his back. And then a re release of the <clears throat> Mark L armor. From an Infinity War in this three pack with Thanos and a much better version of Thanos and Doctor Strange. And again, another Iron Man. This is the third time Hulkbuster has been released. So the price just keeps on dropping on that Hulkbuster. Here's another re release of a Th that Thanos Infinity War overseas. So then we come to the Marvel Unlimited subscription, and you got the Tony Stark exclusive from that one. And then you got a Walgreens of infamous Iron Man. This is, of course, Doctor Doom as Iron Man. And then we have the Avengers Endgame 2-pack, where you could swap heads. And it came with Iron Man heads, so you can put that on there. This was the Quantum Realm suits. And then in that Marvel 80 Years line, you have the classic Iron Man here with the Tony Stark head, several heads to swap out. Really great figure. And then another two-pack released with some figures we had earlier with Spidey and Iron Man, but this time they actually gave us the attachments they needed. The cannons and the backpack and all that good stuff. So then announced at SDCC 2019, we have Avengers Wave 3 with the Fat Thor Build-A-Figure, which came with an Iron Man from Endgame, and also came with a gauntlet that will fit on the Hulk Build-A-Figure. And then just announced we have an Invincible Iron Man Stealth Suit. 
comes with that pretty cool sword that he steals from the ninja. And then just announced, we have the Gamerverse Iron Man coming out in 2020. So this is the new news for this video, really. And then we had some Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends packs back in the day. This was the Avengers movie series. And then just announced overseas also is a repackaging of some stuff that came out in Tesco. And thanks to Dan Hu, we uh, have some pictures of what these things look like. So Iron Man from Infinity Wars is what we had on this one. And here is the Chinese release of Iron Man. So here are all of the Marvel Legends for Iron Man loose, so you can compare them all. And here they all are in package. And here is a kind of a wish list or a most wanted list of what I'd like to see made in the future. Uh, Riri Williams, of course. Red Snapper, Igor, and especially 2020 now that he's going to be rewritten in the comics this year and that we're about to actually hit 2020 finally. 